Hi, Kawhi. Uh, good to see you. Hope you had a good offseason. Uh, I'm a bit of a two-parter here. Um, you said you guys needed to get smarter uh, in this this season after last. Did you feel like you guys did that? And uh, if you could just detail to us uh, the conversation with Serge. Serge told us you texted him uh, just what's up during the offseason as a recruitment text. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I, don't even, I don't know what I told him, but I, I talk to Serge here and there, FaceTime all the time. Uh, so uh, once free agency came, um, you know, I sent him a text and, uh, you know, I told him, made it, a, you know, you know, clear as day, you coming here or not. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't got time to be telling you, uh, you know, all the things that LA have. He knows what I'm about and what I'm trying to do uh, as far as, uh, you know, playing for organization. So, you know, that was my text. Are you coming or not? And, and then on the, on, on the first part, the, uh, the getting smarter, you, you guys did okay. get smarter. Oh uh, yeah, just just far as basketball IQ, you know what I mean. Just uh, just knowing, uh, you know, when to uh, you know throw the ball in the post or get a three or um, just talking or uh, you know it's a lot of basketball situations. Knowing uh, shot clock, game clock, um, what certain plays are in and in uh, a certain time. Just 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 everything pretty much. Okay, we'll move over to Ross. Hey, Kawhi, what's up? It's Ross. Great to see you. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, obviously, there's a lot of discussion about team chemistry and that, you know, there wasn't really enough when it mattered most. So what adjustment will you take personally yourself, if any at all, to make uh, team chemistry even stronger this season? Um... Just pretty much, just, just you know, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, with us last year, it, it, it was kind of different. Um, team chemistry builds from day one, you know what I mean? Uh, coming into camp, uh, I was coming, I uh, had a procedure done, PG had a procedure done. Uh, some of the other guys were hanging out in the training camp, so we didn't play. Well, just, you know, uh, me and PG didn't play uh, probably any of the preseason games. I probably played one or two. I'm not sure, but we, we wasn't in training camp. And I think this year, just us being able to start training camp, uh, able to practice and go full speed with the guys since day one, uh, I think that would just build up to a better, uh, you know, chemistry. Uh, so guys are in either falling in line in the middle of the season or first game. You know what I mean? We all are here together now. Anything off the court that you feel like, hey, this is my job as the leader of this team? I mean, obviously, you just got to make sure, uh, you know, same stuff we did last year, just try to, you know, go to some team dinners, uh, you know, try to gather uh, with one another, um, you know, enjoy something together rather than uh, basketball. But, you know, with the COVID and everything going on, it'll be harder this year to do that. But you know, we could find out ways to play games or, you know, just talk and conversate. Okay, we're going to move over to Andrew. Hey, Kawhi, welcome back. Um, you know, when, when Ty was hired, Ballmer said that one of the things he liked about him was that he has a track record of holding guys accountable. And when you look back at last year kind of review, are there areas on that theme where you feel like you guys and yourself particularly, you guys could have done a better job um, fostering better accountability within the team? And, and and have you guys as a team this year discussed about ways to do that better? Um, yeah, I mean, um, you know, Ty, it's, it's a different start with Ty, but uh, I just think last year, it, like with, with what happened with, uh, like I said, it was a lot for us. Um, I mean, obviously we, we, we should have won, we could have won. Um, it's a lot, of, a lot of that in your mind, but I mean, just looking at it from my perspective, obviously we should all play better, coach better, um, did all that. But um, like I was saying, um, with uh, with everybody just being here, I just feel like last year we was we we wasn't able to start the season. Then we came into a pause with the with the COVID. 
And then we get to the bubble and then guys, uh, you know, have family issues. Um, you know what I mean? So they're outside for a longer, a longer period of time coming back in. We had three guys on our team with COVID. So it was another training camp starting in a bubble. We missing three players. You know what I mean? So I just, I just think all that had a, you know, playing into, you know, accountability and chemistry. I think that all played a big role. It's quite well. We'll move over to Ohm. Hey, Kawhi, great seeing you again. Welcome back. Um, this is the shortest off season anybody's had to deal with. Uh, I was wondering how, how did you spend your off season um, compared to other off seasons and how, how are you feeling physically and uh, going into the season? How motivated are you? Like how much does that game seven still kind of stick with you? The game seven doesn't stick with me at all. You know what I mean? Um, we had chances to win before that game seven. So it just, for me, it's just about like this year, not skipping any steps. Uh, you know, I'm definitely motivated, I uh, want to win. The difference of this off season is it's, it's a quick turnaround, you know what I mean? Uh, so rather than other off seasons, taking more time off, you're, you know, I'm doing stuff to, you know, maintain my body to stay ahead of the curve. During that time, and physically, I, I feel good. I'm motivated. I'm ready to start. I want to get back after it. Um, you know, uh, it does leave a bad taste in your mouth blowing a 3-1 lead. But, you know, I love it. Uh, you know, these are things that build, that build the player. Um, it's the things that I like, the, the challenge. And, uh, you know, the road of going to a championship is hard. And I, I love the process. I love, I'm enjoying the process still. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how strong we are and see if we could build from things like this. This is what makes players. Okay, we'll move over to Miriam. Hey there, Kawhi, welcome back. Um, just kind of wondering what, what your thoughts are on the, the off season that the team had as far as the additions, Serge included, but but the other guys too, and, and maybe uh, losing Jamichael and Trez. Mm -hmm. All right, like, are you are you happy with those additions? Do you think they'll, you know, fill any holes you guys had, or what's I your mean, evaluation? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely they're going to help. Uh, you know, we brought in some good talent, some good vets uh, with Serge, um, with Tom, and uh, you know, we brought some some guys back from last year. Um, that pretty much know what we want to do. Um, you know what I mean? But uh, Serge will be great for us. Uh, he's a good room protector. Uh, he's been in the big moments before. He can shoot the ball. And uh, Baton, yeah, just a good vet, uh, very skilled, shoot, pass, dribble. Uh, been in big moments, uh, competed against him in the playoffs a few times. And, uh, I think they could help. Okay, we're going to move over to Charlie. Hey, Kawhi. Um What's your relationship like with Ty? What did you learn about him working with him last year? And what do you think makes him the right fit for this team going forward? Um, just for a right fit, I guess, um, you know, with letting Doc go, um, you know, Ty was here last year. So it's a familiar face, a familiar voice. Uh, my first time meeting him was actually at the start of the season last year, but uh, what I learned from him or what he likes to do, uh, I mean, obviously, the number one importance is that he wants to win. He's a competitor and, uh, you know, he's very, t uh, he's detailed. Um, you know, uh, he just wants to win, but I mean, it, it's hard to see what he's like right now with a head coach. Obviously, uh, it's our second day. We're only able to, pack, I'm only able to practice with four other players on my team, so. I'll learn more from him down the road, but uh, just from what I know now, and he's detailed. Uh, he's a competitor, and um, you know that that's 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 pretty much it. Um, he's smart, obviously a good basketball IQ. He's been there before, uh, and um, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it to grow with him. Okay, we're gonna move over to Beth Harris. Hi, the, Kawhi. Uh, the bubble in Florida was, um, you know, pretty much a success. Now you don't have that. Um, and when you look around what's going on at the NFL, college football and basketball, what's your level of confidence that the NBA is going to be able to pull this off and, 
and also uh, mentally, are you sort of preparing for maybe a lot of stops and starts? As a um, mentally, no, I'm not uh, preparing for that, but, uh, you know, my mindset is just on each day. Um, you know what I mean? Just trying to be better the next day. If there is a stoppage, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll be better. We'll take it better just because we've been through it before already. Um, what else would you ask me? Oh, just uh, what your level of confidence is that the NBA can, you know, oh, plop yeah. a, a season under these conditions. I mean, I think it will get done. Um, you know, I don't know what week the NFL is in right now. Uh, obviously, we play more games and travel more. But I feel like if they're able to get to, what, 12 week, 13 week, uh, I have confidence in the NBA, you know, getting through this season. We're taking the right protocols. Like I said, we're only able to practice with, I'm only able to practice with four other players right now. Um, we're getting tested still every day. Um, it's just on the onus of us, just making sure that, you know, each player is being careful as we could be. You know, obviously, even if you do stay home and do the right procedures, you could get the virus. But, uh, yeah, I think if we're being smart, we're still taking the right protocols, we'll finish this season. Okay, and then we're going to end on Cameron Buford. Hey, Kawhi, welcome back, man. Happy New Year of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, I got to kind of a two-part question. I want to ask you about motivation. Ty mentioned the other day motivation should come from the players, not necessarily the coach. So I want your comment on that. And then leadership. Leadership for this team moving forward. How do you plan on changing your leadership style, if at all? Uh, the motivation definitely comes in within the player. Um, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play hard or go win games. You have that have a mindset. You have to train your body, uh, you know, for this season or games to to play well. You know what I mean? Or, you know, at least play at the level that you want to play at. Uh, but my leadership role is not going to change. You know? I'm going to just keep doing the same thing I've been doing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.